Hi, I'm Colin Richardson. This is Chris Clancy. Today we're going to be showing you some of the presets from the Tone Hub Pack. We've got some great classic sort of metal sounds, some rock sounds, some clean sounds. And we spent a lot of time dialing them in and getting them. They, they weren't going to be included if we weren't 100% happy with them. Exactly, yeah. Yes. I think we really tried to make sure we captured a full range of sounds as well. So there's quite a few sounds on here which are slightly different tones on, like maybe the same theme, sort of similar setup, but just slightly, some are darker, some have got more low end, some are a bit sharper. And we've used different, uh, we've done used different guitar sounds and different, different DIs mm -hmm. going in as well to try and capture different, uh, different types of sound. Because obviously if you've got something slow and chunky, you might want a different tone than something that's a bit more thrashy or fast. So the first one is the, uh, the Rob Flynn one. So we, uh, we took Rob Flynn's, uh, Rob Flynn's DI from uh, Rotten. Which he kindly let us use. Which is kindly let us use. <laughs> Thanks, Rob. Thanks, Rob. Um, and I think we were actually looking for which cab to use. And uh, we had this Austrian audio mic we'd never seen before. Set that up and it, it just sounded so good. We, we captured a load of amps through it because it, it, it had a kind of grainy, really full sound to it. Yeah, it? and it's not often that one mic can do the job, and of course, just using one mic, that you haven't got a phase issue, because no. of course three, you've got to mess with the phase and move the mics backwards and forwards. So, yeah, um, no, it worked out really well, which is, I think half the profiles are maybe with the, uh, the Austrian audio, mm -hmm. and it just sounds as good as a combo of the 57, the 421, and the 301. Maybe different flavor, but it's mm -hmm. all about, you know, different flavors yeah I think it, I think the the, the the Austrian audio mic in particular kind of it gives you a bit more of um, a canvas to kind of mold to what you want because there's only one mic there it's not kind of imprinting as much on it I feel. or it's the one mic where when I went out to the cab it sounded exactly the same in the studio as it did out the front of the cab which is what you want a mic to do really and I think that was right on the speaker wasn't it where everything else was moved off a bit to the side it was too whistly or whatever but the Austrian audio was with the only mic you could put it right in the middle of the cone and it still didn't sound harsh and it had all the low end yeah definitely and that's a PV6505 yep. with a Marshall 4x12 cabinet uh, V30 yep <laughs> I think for me it's a really really good great metal sound a lot of low punchy top end the mids are still strong it's not all scooped out um it's got a growl to it it's got that nice grain at the yeah. top but without being fatigued. And I think when you, um, it's got a lot of gain on, but I think you, when you under, you, know, you lower the gain, it'll still be, could make a great rock sound as well, really. Pissed off but posh, that's my phrase I want to use. And I'm not changing. Right, so we've got, what have we got now? We've got number seven. Uh, this is the 6505 again through the Marshall 4B12. This is the one with the 57, the 421, and the 301. So let's have a little listen to that. It's a bit more focused, this one, isn't it? It's not as thick. Mm -hmm as the other one which was ultra thick it's just a little tighter mm -hmm. and that could be useful for somebody as well that just wants the low end tightening up again it's quite edgy but i that's the sound i like and you know that edgy punchy i think it works really well on those faster riffs as well like we've got this <laughs> you get the no definition there because it's quite focused but it's quite sharp and aggressive as well definitely so this is a totally different tone again so this is through the 4x12, but with the G12 uh, speakers in, so G1265. So, and this is the Austrian audio mic blended with, I need more plug-in, blended with a 57 and a 421. So it's like the old Colin 57, 421 thing, but with the Austrian you audio. You sort of said it all. Here we go. <laughs> As 
far more dynamic. Yeah, and the it? first thing I'm spotted, it hasn't got a super lot of fizz at the top, but that, that could be useful for somebody as well. Doesn't, you know, where the, the top end is just filtered down. And, but that's not with EQ, that's just uh, mic choice and carbon um, amp choice as well. Yeah, it's amazing the difference that the different speaker cones and just adding the Austrian audio with the 57, the 41, just the phase that, that creates mm. kind of focuses it. But it's almost got a nice sort of like honk in a really nice way though for that, that for this this particular DI. It works really well. Just very clear and defined. Yeah, and sometimes, you know when you're mixing and you, if you have a guitar too long in solo, you can scoop the mids out. Oh, it's all nice. You put it in the track and there's nothing there. Mm -hmm. You almost need the mids to get it to be loud and up front really as well. Definitely. So, yeah, I mean, it's not all about what it sounds like on its own. It's got to work in the, in the track every single time. But at least if you do a combo, oh, here's a bit on its own. Now I'll put it in the track. Now I'll go back to on its own. You know, you can bounce around and find the, uh, what's best for you. This is the JVM, you see, I like this one. Okay. <laughs> Okay. I really like that. What do you like about this one then compared to the last Sounds one? Sounds amazing. Yeah, I mean, it's, <laughs> but, <laughs> but is this, is this uh, the, the distortion from, I was anti-Marshall for years and years and just mm. hearing this, it's like, what was I, what the hell was I doing really? It's, let's play it again. <laughs> Can we hear the same sound with a little bit less gain as well? Of course we just we can. played that one. I mean, quite, you know. Classic Marshall sound, yeah. playing metal. I think that's one of my favourites, actually. I as know. Well. I really like that one. All right, let's have a listen to something a bit more chilled out. So we've got. Not rock? Not rock? It, well, it is rock. Here we go. We've got, we've got Steve up here. So this, so this is, is the a, this is a, Plexi, um, yeah. which sounded great. And it's got four mics on this one. <clears throat> we put them all on, to, and then we just ended up using them all. And this is a band called The Massive Wagons. Yep. Uh, we produced our album about 18 months ago. And it's just a really good rock riff. Mm -hmm. uh, let's hear it. <laughs> If that doesn't get your foot tapping, I don't know what, <laughs> what will. Um, but yeah, this is, uh, this is the Austria Audio mic again with the 57, 421 and So we got the whole shebang on this whole one. Shebang. They're all in there. Yeah. It's got a lot of great mid in it. Mm -hmm. It's based on sort of an ACDC type of thing. Mm -hmm. I just think that sounds fantastic, really. Yeah. It's something for everybody. And then, of course, you'd start tweaking the amp stuff on that, and you can go lots of other places. Do you want to just try branding it up to see sure. what's the... <laughs> Yeah, I think that's brilliant. I think that's really cool as well that uh, we, we did this because I don't think people are going to expect to hear that sound from you. I think that's that's really different, but I think it's... Uh, I, I just love the sound of it. I think... Do you remember when, when we first got the sound up and it was like we got everything levelled up and we just stood there and listened to it for about 10 minutes? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, it's... it's uh, I, I, you know, I, I was looking for a great rock sound and I think we've exceeded it really. Yeah, definitely. Um, we've got a clean sound next, so let's, let's get cue up the clean one. Yes. So this is the 5153 uh, okay. on the clean channel, which right. is a bit unexpected because you wouldn't necessarily go to that amp for the clean thing, but it just seemed to work really well. Yeah, and this is an ambient chimey piece, so mm -hmm. you could have it, you could run it with um, just as it is, and then maybe play around with some of the effects because yeah. I always think. These parts just sound great with dreamy effects and 
Sexy is mm -hmm. the word we'll look... Well, All right, let's have a quick listen to yeah. this one. So there's a nice little twang on there as well, a little bit of gain. Yeah. Um, so let's try some effects on it and see see where that goes. Uh, what, are you, what are you thinking? Delay so, at fifty percent. That's cool. Let's take a little bit. Oh. Um Maybe a bit of chorus. Or are we yeah. Going crazy? Let's try phaser. Phaser. I bet you the phaser's the one. You might have to dial the phaser. You will have to. Yeah. Manual sync here. Could be almost a bit Pink Floyd. Could be. 